All right, guys. So yesterday you talked about observations, and today we're going to talk about inferences. Okay, and so observations and inferences go pretty much hand in hand, and I bet you do both of those things multiple times every single day without even knowing it. So let's see what can we infer. But first, before we do anything, let's review what you talked about yesterday. Okay. So yesterday, you should have learned what an observation is. You should have been reminded about what your five senses are, and you should have decided or seen what the difference between qualitative and quantitative observations are. So I have a really easy trick for you to be able to remember what the difference between those two things. So quantitative has an N in it, and I've highlighted it down here, this N right here. And the N stands for numbers or measurements. So if you can remember if you're counting something or you're measuring how long or how tall or how much something weighs or what the mass of it is, that would be a quantitative observation. So an example would be like there are 15 petals on that flower. I counted how many petals are on the flower, okay? Qualitative has this L right here. And that L stands for letters or words, which means that it's something that can't be counted or measured. So that might be like the air smells like fruit or it looks like the cat is yellow and white. Okay, so qualitative letters or words to describe something, quantitative numbers or measurements. So that's what you should have learned yesterday. If you don't remember that stuff, go back and watch or look at the things that you should have seen yesterday and then come back here. But today we're talking all about inferences. So observations, remember, it's an interaction between the environment and your senses. So it's something that you're going to see, hear, touch, smell, or taste, all right? And so an example would be that Jimmy is absent from school today. So I can see that Jimmy is not here, not in the school building, not on the Zoom. An inference is an opinion based on the observation that you've made. So my observation was that Jimmy is absent from school today, and my inference would be that Jimmy must be home, must be sick at home. So if you think about it, I don't know if Jimmy's sick at home. He might be on vacation. He might be at a doctor's appointment. He might just have gotten in trouble and couldn't be on the Zoom call, or he forgot what his login was, or whatever it is. I don't know for sure that, that Jimmy is sick at home, and that's why he's absent. I'm inferring, or I'm making an opinion based on the observation that I made that he's not here. So it's pretty simple. Observations are you can see, smell, touch, taste, or hear it right then and there. And an inference is that taking one of those things and being able to make an opinion on it. So maybe if we're in a Zoom call and I can hear a dog barking in the background, maybe I can infer that that dog lives with you but it might be your neighbors or your little sister might be watching something on TV that has a dog. Okay. So let's practice. Let's practice. Okay. So I want you to imagine this. Imagine you walk into your home and you see that there's smoke in the air and you can smell something burning. So what are some observations you can make? So what's something that you can smell, taste, touch, hear or smell, taste, touch, hear, or feel. I always forget one. That's okay. So if I'm imagining it, I'm going to be able to see that there is some smoke in the air. And my other observation is that I can smell something burning. What can you infer from that? So we've made our observations, we see some smoke, and we can smell something burning. So if I'm trying to infer or create an opinion about this, 
maybe you can infer that someone left a candle burning for too long. And that's what you're smelling. And that's the smoke, where the smoke's coming from. Or maybe someone is trying to make dinner and forgot that the, that the dinner's been in the oven for a few hours. Uh-oh. Definitely going to have some burned dinner after that. Maybe gets you some dominoes. Or maybe even that it's winter time and your wood stove is working in overdrive to keep your house warm. So notice, everybody's going to smell the same thing or see the same thing. Those are your observations. But many different inferences can be made from an observation. So one of those three things could have been what you thought about, or you might have thought of something different. If you do think of something different, put it in the Q&A cafe and let me know what else you thought could be happening. Okay? All right. So now what I want you to do is you're going to go and you are going to do some more practice with observation and inferences. So you got to figure out what's an inference and what's an observation. At the end of today, you're going to take a little assessment where you have to show that you understand what an observation is, whether it's qualitative and quantitative observations, and what an inference is. So make sure that you understand what these things mean. Okay? And make sure that if you have questions, you're either putting it in the Q&A cafe or you are sending Miss Wyndham or I a message on Schoology. Okay? All right, guys. Good luck.